Mahpeker Kosum Sultan, one of the most powerful female figures in the history of the Ottoman Empire, the wedded wife of Sultan I Ahmed and Sultan Ahmed IV. She is the mother of Murad and Ibrahim. She was one of the most powerful and influential women in Ottoman history, as well as a central figure in the period later called the Reign of Women. As regent, she effectively ruled the Ottoman Empire for nearly 20 years. He is the only Ottoman Sultan in Ottoman history who brought his two sons to the throne and subsequently saw the reign of his grandson. In addition, she is the only mother Sultan who was murdered in Ottoman history. It is accepted that she became the symbol of female domination in the Ottoman harem, and that she reached the peak of the period called the Reign of Women in popular culture and historical literature, which started with Haseki Hurem Sultan. In 1623, Kosem Sultan tried to rule the state as regent in a way that had never been experienced before in the Ottoman state tradition, and was largely successful. She has managed to become one of the biggest names that come to mind when talking about women in the history of politics and administration. There is no information in the sources about the first years of his life, his origins, or where he was born, but despite this, there are various narrations, rumors, and claims about him. There is information in various sources that he is of Greek, Bosnian, or Circassian origin. It is rumored that his father was an Orthodox priest. It is generally said that he was Greek. Historian Halil Inalchik also states that he is of Greek origin. After his childhood, he entered the palace of the Bosnian Baylor Beyi. Over time, due to her beauty and intelligence, she was sent by the Bosnian Baylor Beyi to the Daru Saada Ayasi in the Ottoman palace in Istanbul. In 1604, when she came to the palace, Safiye Sultan was sent to the old palace and Handan Sultan's rule in the harem began. Because according to the rules, when the new Valide Sultan arrived, the old Valide Sultan would be sent away from the palace. This event left an impression on Kosum Sultan, and years later, when her grandson came to the throne, she did not go to the old palace and died as a result of a two-headed fight in the harem. There are two rumors about how Anastasia, who came to the palace, took the name Kosum. The first of these is that it has a hairless structure. This is a weak narration. Another strong rumor is that she was the Kosumen to the other concubines in the palace. That is, she was named Kosem because she was the person or person who is confident, knows what to do and when, and guides and directs a herd. When Anastasia entered the palace, she took the name Mapeker. However, over time, she was given the name Kosem because she guided other concubines. Kosem, chosen by Handan Valide Sultan, the mother of first Ahmed, was presented to the Sultan. Since Sultan Ahmed was a child, Handan Sultan personally ruled the state on behalf of her son as a semi-regent. In this regard, Leslie Pierce assumes that Handan Sultan was a very powerful person during his son's reign and that he instilled many things mentally for his inexperienced son and ruled the state in the background. Handan Valide Sultan sent many concubines to her son to have children, but his son was indifferent to concubines. Handan Sultan, a good-hearted woman, also prevented the murder of Prince Mustafa. After his death, this issue remained closed until 1612. In March 1604, First Ahmed and his brother Prince Mustafa suffered a fatal illness. The Sultan and the Prince were able to recover from this disease which threatened the dynasty with extinction only in April. For this reason, it was better understood that Sultan Ahmed should have a child as soon as possible. Sultan Ahmed is known as a religious sultan, and his mother instilled this piety in him in general. During this period, he also met Aziz Mahmud Hudayi and visited him with his mother. After the death of her mother, Kosum Sultan usually visited first Ahmed. With the death of Valid Sultan, who ruled the harem until 1605, first Ahmed was very upset, and this death caused him to turn from his previous calm nature into a more violent ruler 
who imposed harsh sanctions against those who rebelled. There was no way for Kosem to rise as long as Handan Valide Sultan, who was very influential on her son, lived. After the death of Handan Valide Sultan, Dervish Pasha, who was completely persuaded by his mother not to believe in him, had an influence on the Sultan. But when he was executed and killed in 1606, he fell under the influence of the young Sultan Kosem Sultan, whom he quickly made himself accepted, has entered. Sultan Ahmed's first wife fell out of favor over time. It is even said that there was a heavy fight between a Haseki of the Sultan and Kosem Sultan in 1607, and it is stated that Ahmed became angry with both of his Hasekis when he was informed. None of the existing Ottoman sources write that Sultan Ahmed married Kosem. Except for exceptional cases, sultans did not marry their wives. Foreign sources, on the other hand, often do not mention the marriage and take Kosem as Ahmed's wife, leaving the issue in suspense. For example, in 1609, Venetian ambassador Bon reported that Ahmed had four children from three women, but he was not married to any of them. Edward Grimestone, who expanded the content of Richard Canolis' book, The General History of the Turks, published in England in 1603 and describing the history of the Ottoman Empire very successfully, to 1621, stated that Kosums, it says, that she is Ahmed's wife, but it is debatable whether this means his wedded wife. In recent years, young researcher Oslam Kumrular, in a survey she conducted in the Venice State Archives, discovered Sultan IV, declaring Murad his ascension and bearing the title of IV. He created a name with Murad's signature. In this book, while talking about the new sultan's mother, Kosum Sultan, it is stated that Kosum became the most respected and accepted mother of the late and forgiven Sultan Ahmed and honored her with a marriage. Ahmed's. It is emphasized that he is respected and appreciated and they continue to praise him. This document clearly shows that Sultan I Ahmed married his wife, Kosum Sultan. In summary, Kosum Sultan, just like one of her predecessors, Huram Sultan, succeeded in achieving the honor of being the legal wife of her husband. According to historians, Kosem Sultan lived a peaceful life at first, went to dervish lodges with first Ahmed, who was interested in Sufism and took care of his children. First Ahmed, who had a strong religious attitude, was very meticulous about proving that he was not under the influence of others like his father, even though he came to the throne at a young age. For this reason, Kosem Sultan did not get involved in political affairs much during the reign of First Ahmed. By 1612, First Ahmed had four sons. The names of these children were determined as Mehmed, Selim, and Murad Prince Selim, died in the same year. Since he had many princes, Sultan Ahmed wanted to have his brother murdered, but the elders of the state prevented this death by making the Sultan accept the idea that it would not harm him because he was mentally unstable. Of course, it can also be said here that Kosum Sultan tried to have an influence on First Ahmed in order to prevent Prince Osman from ascending to the throne and having his own son murdered. Kosum Sultan gave birth to six of Ahmed Bir's sons. Two of them died at a young age. For this reason, the most influential woman in the palace was Kusum Sultan. The death of Mafiruza Sultan at a young age in 1620 was also effective in this. In order to increase her power, Kosum Sultan married her daughters Aishe, Geverhan and Fatma Sultan, especially her first daughter, Aishi Sultan, to powerful pashas, thus gaining a great influence in the Divan of Humayun. Aishi Sultan was married to Grand Vizier Nasu Pasha in 1611 when she was only six years old, and their wedding was held a year later. Aishi Sultan was transferred to Nasu Pasha's palace. However, in accordance with the palace custom, the wedding was postponed until the child reached puberty. Nasu Pasha was one of the smartest, most powerful, and richest viziers of the era. He married Fatma Sultan to Admiral Hassan Pasha 
and his other daughter, Gever Han Sultan, to Okuz Kara Mehmed Pasha as a Suri at an early age. Even during Kuyukyu Murad Pasha's time as Grand Vizier, he sent a letter to the palace stating that he would present 40,000 gold coins to the Sultan if the imperial seal was entrusted to him. The Sultan immediately sent this letter to Murad Pasha. Murad Pasha, with a rare brazenness, summoned Nasu Pasha and immediately collected the money he offered. Because of this incident, Sultan I Ahmed must not have had any bad thoughts about Nasu Pasha, because he appointed him as Grand Vizier as soon as Murad Pasha died. Afterwards, Isi Sultan rewarded him with his marriage. However, excessive compliments from Sultans have always been dangerous. Nasu Pasha's prosperity lasted only three years. On October 18, 1614, Bostan Chabashe, who was executing the death sentence, found the Grand Vizier in a room with Little Aish Sultan. They picked up Little Aisha Sultan, placed her inside the window, and strangled the Pasha in front of her. Although, like the treasury, A.C. Sultan inherited some of the wealth of Nasu Pasha, who was considered one of the richest viziers in the Ottoman history after Rustam Pasha. But this murder committed in front of her was a bad start for her life. After the execution of Nasuf Pasha, Bull Mehmed Pasha, who was married to his other daughter Gevarhan Sultan, was appointed to the position of vizier. When Prince Osman was little, he would go on car rides with Kosum. On these trips, he liked to show off by throwing money to people standing on the roadside. Later, Ahmed intervened in this relationship between his son and his Haseki. Ambassador Valier reported in 1616 that the Sultan had banned Kosum and Osman from meeting. Perhaps the reason, as Valier commented, was the fear that Kosum's well-known plans for the future of her sons would endanger the security of the princes. Another possible reason was the judgment that it was inappropriate for a prince who had reached puberty to be in the company of a non-Mahram woman. Nevertheless, after Ahmed's death, the relationship resumed. In 1619, Osman, as Sultan, honored Kosum with a three-day banquet in the old palace. Kosum was an extremely influential Haseki at the turning point in the Ottoman dynastic history when the transition to greatness became possible. If Ahmed had executed his brother Mustafa, as per tradition, after becoming crown prince, his eldest son Osman would have succeeded him. This was what the method of passing the sovereignty from father to son required. Probably, as soon as the new sultan had a son, he would execute all of Qasim's siblings, including her sons Murad, Qasim, and Ibrahim. In 1612, Venetian ambassador Simon Contarini reported that Kosum persuaded Ahmed to spare Mustafa's life, arguing that he should not harm his brother even if it was against the tradition of the Ottoman dynasty. According to Contarini, what motivated Kosum here was that the mercy she now showed to a brother could also show to her own son, the brother of the firstborn prince, in the future. On 22nd November 1617, Sultan I Ahmed died. His body was buried in his mausoleum next to the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. After the Sultan's death at a young age, who would ascend to the throne became a matter of debate. The candidates for the throne were Prince Mustafa and Prince Osman. However, according to the rules, when a Sultan died, it was appropriate for one of his sons to take the throne. However, the high officials found it appropriate for Prince Mustafa, who was older, to ascend to the throne. It is rumored that Kosum Sultan, who wanted her son not to die, supported this work. The eldest of Sultan Ahmed's sons, Prince Osman, was only 13 years old. But first Ahmed was 14 years old when he ascended to the throne. Although first Mustafa did not accept the Sultanate, Stating that he was not interested in state matters, this situation was not taken into consideration by the high officials. Qasim Sultan fell out of luck after her husband died and was sent to the old palace to live with Safiya Sultan. Since first Mustafa was a crazy Sultan, after a while he became unaccepted in the state. Even the orders that were written and sent were made in such a way 
that it could be understood that they were written by someone else. Sultan I Mustafa, who was also deficient in education, was dethroned because he was not interested in state affairs. As a matter of fact, he was dethroned on February 26, 1618, 96 days after he ascended to the throne, and was replaced by Shehzad Osman, the son of Qosim Sultan's husband from another Mahfiruz Hatice Sultan. But Tayyip, even though Osman was very young, he was disturbed by Qosim Sultan's interference in state affairs. That's why he tried to keep Qosim Sultan away from politics in the old palace. However, he did not neglect Qosim Sultan, who raised him and always respected her. For example, Young Osman visited Qosem Sultan at the old palace for three days. After Mustafa was dethroned again, Sheikh al-Islam Yahya Effendi and the state officials finally replaced first Mustafa with his own son, I.V. He decided that Murad should pass. Qosem Sultan moved from the old palace to Topkapu Palace as Valid Sultan. Ifi. Murad was only 11 years old when he ascended to the throne, and Qosim Sultan began to largely rule the state on behalf of her son. Qosim Sultan's reign, IV, it lasted until Murad took full control of the administration. Janissaries, Sultan IV, on the occasion of the successive grants they received. Although they promised that they would not ask for a tip during Murad's accession to the throne, after a short while, they insisted that we want accession. The amount, which amounted to 2 million Ottoman gold coins, was met by melting the gold plates and trays in the palace. Grand Vizier Kamankesh. Ali Pasha dismissed Sheikh Islam Yahya Effendi from his post. The new arrival was young Osman's father-in-law, Sheikh Islam Oulu, Sheikh Islam Esad Master. On September 2, 1651, Qosim Sultan was killed by a team formed by Lala Suleiman Aha as a result of her struggle for authority with Turhan Sultan. Qosim Sultan's remains were buried in her husband's tomb of First Ahmed in the Sultan Ahmed Mosque, Qosim Sultan. As a widowed courtier in the turmoil of the most complex, dark, murder-filled 40 years, she took on the responsibility of final decision in the midst of political issues. We can go further and say that if Sokulu Mehmed Pasha and the end of the Ascension Era and Tulip Era are titles in history books, Qosim Sultan's Regency should also be an important bookmark or title for Ottoman history. Qosem's place in the Ottoman dynastic structure is equal to the ruling queens in Europe and Russia. What makes Ma Peker Qosem privileged among all female sultans is that her presence and activity in the top Kappa Palace harem spanned nearly half a century, from her husband first Ahmed to her grandson Mehmed the Fear, and that she called her two sons and grandson Sahibetul Maqam Ummulmu. It means acting as regent in the harem with the title of Minin. There is no other person from the harem who rules all over the country at this level. Qosem Sultan, who adopted the principle of leading in charity work, helped the poor around her. Every year in the month of Rajabi Sharif, he went to the prisons by car in disguise. He paid the debts of the prisoners who were imprisoned because of their debts and enabled them to be released from prison. Qosem Sultan did not grant this aid to the murderers. Among the charity works he commissioned, he built and opened the Chinili Mosque in Uskudar, which was completed in 1640, and Anadolu Kava on the Bosphorus, and the Valide Madrasa Mosque near Sultan Selim. He also extended a helping hand to Mecca and Medina, which were Ottoman provinces at that time, and provided considerable aid to the poor local people.